52 Traders, episode 131. Trading is about the money, but if you let the amount of money that you're risking in a trade affect you, uh, you're going to make bad decisions. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we have Will Hunting on the show, a trader from Birmingham in the UK. He's a Forex trader. He's traded a few things in the past, and we're going to hear his full story. He also reveals on the show a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to find quite useful to apply to your own trading today. Uh, one of the things is a method that he used to go through and essentially come up with his own trading strategy without really taking on any education from, from what I could tell. Uh, it was all just down to his pure determination to get, to make him, well, to, I suppose, get become successful at trading. And... Uh, it's an, a nice, unique approach, and I'm sure you'll love it, uh, and it'll make a lot of sense to you, and in fact, it made a lot of sense to me when I was listening to it. The other thing you're going to find out in the show, which I thought was brilliant, is a specific candlestick pattern, one that I actually talked about very early on in the show, like episode, within the first five episodes, I think one of my guests had talked about this candlestick pattern uh, I did a whole bunch of investigation into it. I think I built a robot around it. And Will dispels the myth around this particular candlestick pattern and the fact that really it's just, yeah, it does work now and again, but the odds are not in your favor. He need tell, And he tells us how to get around that as well and actually gives a strategy at the end of the show talking about talking to that particular pattern and how to trade it so that you will actually um, do it profitably, okay? So really fascinating stuff, uh, and I'm sure you guys know what candlestick pattern he's talking about when he does mention it. Now, the other thing that you want to take note of, of in this interview, which, you know, is something to think about how it fits in with your life, and that's where Will was at when he first started trading. So the point of his life that he was in, uh, it's quite similar to a lot of the other guests that I've had on the show, so you really need to sort of factor in how does this how does this work for you, doing what you're doing at this current point in time? Um, but at the end of the day, he does lead the life that I think that, you know, in a way, the dream life, the, the life that I'd be looking to lead in a few years' time when I become successful as a trader. Listen to the positive talk there. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get on with the show. All right, folks, so we've got Will Hunting here on the show with us today from Birmingham in the UK. How's things over there, Will? How are you doing? Hey, I'm pretty good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, now, look, uh, we had a bit of a pre-interview chat, and you were telling me about your sort of trips around the world and, and what you do. Do you want to give the listeners a bit of an insight into into how you sort of structure your life these days, traveling around the world, staying in the UK? What does that look like? Oh, so, so I spend actually most of my time working from my home office. Trading is my first passion, but... Uh, one of the things which I do or another activity which I engage in is mentoring a lot of students. So whenever there is an opportunity to leave home, I guess I'm I'm quite quick to I'm quite quick to grab it. I think a lot of people have maybe some romantic notions about working from home, but um, it has a lot of disadvantages as well, right? So if uh, you know if you've ever worked in a busy office environment with a lot of people around you and then all of a sudden you find yourself uh, by yourself or worse than that stuck with the missus all day you're usually looking for an escape so yeah I mean whenever an opportunity comes along I, I do try to uh, uh, get out and, 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 and travel and uh, so I, I guess I've been quite privileged in, in that respect I've had the opportunity to go about as far east as you can go and, and, and as far west as uh, you can go meeting uh, uh, meeting other traders and, and just helping them on, on, on their journey towards uh, forex trading success. And that sounds, I mean, that sounds absolutely fantastic. And I think it's sort of, I mean, 
I suppose that's probably what I'd like to be doing at some point is being able to, you know, go off and, and travel the world and meet other guys and, and train them up on what I know and, uh, and you know, I suppose it's just you, you're free to do that and you've got the money to do it. So so why not? I mean, I've actually, funnily enough, as you mentioned at the start, I'm actually sort of, I've just made that tra- transition from a, a busy office sort of life to working at home um, with my wife here uh, during the day. And uh, yeah, the first week was a little bit um, different, I've got to say. And then it's sort of getting, I'm getting into a, into the rhythm of things now, which is which is good to Good to know that you know um, it is a transition period in your life, and you sort of you know you've got to you've got to work through these things. And I think having that sort of vision of you know possibly in the future traveling around the world and meeting people and teaching them what you know about trading the market sounds like a pretty cool thing to do. But um, before we go any, into any more detail around that, I mean, do you want to give the listeners a sort of detailed background as to how you got into trading? Uh, sure. So. My journey into trading was quite by chance, I would say. So, I mean, we're going back uh, quite a long time. I've been trading now for the best part of 12 years. Uh, But uh, I I was was at a stage in my life where I was looking for something different to do. And one of the ideas that I had, and I'd heard a lot of people were trading online, so uh, I did a search trade online and the kind of trading that I'd imagined at that time was maybe selling things on eBay or wholesaling uh, physical products online. But, uh, you know, having tapped trade online into Google, what happened was a whole bunch of broker websites came up on, on, on the first page. And uh, so... I, I just ended up clicking through one of the links and opening a demo account. And uh, that morning, I think I must have opened maybe 20 trades where almost every instrument I bought something or sold something. And uh, then I stepped away from the screen and I came back that evening and and maybe 19 of those trades were losing money. But one of them was actually making money. And uh, and and from that moment, I was hooked because I thought, hey, uh, it looks as though there's a opportunity here. And in hindsight, you might say, and I, and I guess there's a saying as well, you know, that uh, oh, that an overwhelming number of people ignore an overwhelming amount of scientific evidence. Uh, I had 19 losing positions open and one winning position. But I, I clutched that straw of hope, you know, thinking, this is it. Yeah. I think I can do this and, 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 and I can uh, just buy and sell. And, and, and the funny thing is as well, uh, that winning trade was on uh, XAU, which is gold. And I had absolutely no idea what the instrument was. I thought it was some kind of stocks and shares. Right. And I thought it was some ticker symbol. And I've bought this stock and the stock price has gone up and I'm, I'm making a ton of demo cash. Right. So, um, so, so that's how I got started. And, and, and the next thing I knew, uh, I, I think it was the following day, I'd done a live account application. And the day after that, I'd faxed some documents over and, the day after that, my account was approved and I was doing a chap's payment. And the following week, on a Monday, I had my first live account fully loaded, ready to go. And what were you doing before that? I mean, were you, uh, were you working before that? Were you still working at the time? How did that look? All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that quick little teaser of the Will Hunting episode. Now, if you do want to hear the full thing, you'll need to sign up as a pro member. All you need to do is jump on to 52traders.com. It's only five bucks. You get access to this interview, and you also get access to my entire back catalog of interviews, so over 100 traders, all sharing what they do on a daily basis, sharing secrets, sharing strategies, 
sharing way too much. Uh, so jump on to 52traders.com. You'll find links to join there or just go direct to 52traders.com forward slash pro. It will take you there immediately. There's links in your phone as well. So check the description. There'll be a link there to join. All right, guys. So until next week when I have a trader, another trader from the UK who's got a very interesting story as well uh, coming on the show. Have a great trading week and I'll see you then.